Hello, and welcome to Legacy of Nos. Thief 2 fan mission by Nicked. Now, it doesn't have a briefing video, so let's read. Breaking into the catacombs of Nos and escaping alive proved to be a challenging ordeal. Rarely have I been more glad to see the sky than after emerging from those shadowy tunnels, clutching the ancient necromancer's time of power. As soon as the rising sun fell upon the book, an unholy scream emerged from the passage behind me, and the aura of fear surrounding the tome dissipated like early morning mist. The lingering spirit of the necromancer was banished, and an air of peace fell over the graveyard. I knew the keepers would be eager to secrete the grimoire away in one of their hidden libraries, but I wasn't about to hand it over before finding out what I had braved the haunted depths to recover. Most of the tome was filled with eldritch runes and hideous spellcraft, but here and there Noss had filled the margins and loose leaves of the book with his notes and musings. Most of these were esoteric references to mages long dead or battles long forgotten. But then I turned a page and my eyes fell upon a scribbled drawing of a symbol that seemed strangely familiar, and a cryptic note referring to a sanctum neath Felmont Crown. I knew they would be watching, and it wasn't long before the keepers arrived to clean the book. They made good on their promise of gold, and I've no doubt my erstwhile companions have now hidden the grimoire deep in some lightless, dusty vault. But gold is a fleeting thing, and I can always use more of it. So before I handed over the book, I made a careful copy of the page with the symbol. In the centuries since Noss's time, his legend has attracted various renegade hedge wizards and frustrated spellcrafters into a loose cult, and such people would likely pay big money for any artifacts connected to the necromancer. It took no small amount of digging through dusty old libraries and crumbling city records, but eventually I learned the Felmont Crown was the old name for a hill that, in times long past, rose from the boggy fields at the outskirts of the city, until the city grew and it was built over and gradually lost beneath the district that later became known as Great Twist Merking. Some nights later I was in that very district, visiting Tybalt's antique shop in order to fence the rest of the loot from the catacombs. As soon as I walked in I realised where I knew the strange symbol from. It was carved into an old stone ward that the old man had had on his shelf for years. Tybalt knew little about it, only that it had been sold with a lot of other junk from a nearby theatre. I left it with him to look into. It's now three nights later, and Tybalt's errand boy just came knocking on my door. He tells me Tybalt has news, and I'm to meet him at his shop. Tybalt claims to have news regarding the strange symbol from the grimoire of Nos and the old stone in his shop. Pay him a visit to his antique shop and see what he's found out. You should be able to pilfer a few trinkets, trinkets from the neighbourhood of Great Twist Merking. Get at least 2,000 loot. The Trondheim Gallery currently has an exhibition of crystal vases that should fetch a fine price on the black market. Make them yours. Optional. Sir Kennington recently purchased a valuable ruby scepter for an upcoming ball, so I mean it would ingratiate you with Kennington's enemies among the merchant classes. Optional. Violence is the mark of an amateur. There should be no reason to kill anyone tonight. Once the night work's, night's work is complete, get back to the gate where you started. Jump to hard. No change in uh, objectives except a 3,000 loot goal. Expert, 4,000 loot goal. Alright, well, let's stick with hard. We don't have, like, we've got uh, no kill objectives on all difficulties, so that's not a uh, concern. I guess my main concern is hit point loss from <laughs> ladders. Ladders and other accidents. Um, so Expert is being very low on hit points and stingy with the heals. It's less conducive to uh, the way that I prefer to play on stream. Or rather, in the recording. I'm not streaming this. Anyway. Let us go see what title has found out. Right, lockpicks. Again, I presume we start with the sword and blackjack as usual, I hope. Uh, 950, that's decent money to spend. We've got. Well, flash bombs, always useful. Healing potions, always useful. That's a definite start. Three rope arrows, I shouldn't need any more. Broadheads, fine. Moss, two, water, five. That's good. That's generous starting loot, but for hard difficulty. Um, what else would I want? 
I mean, noisemakers I like, but they're way too expensive. Just get another couple of flash bombs. Another healing potion. Another water arrow. Considering I'm not allowed to kill anyone, I feel like... Maybe actually another flash bomb is better, so that I have an extra escape system. And one more water. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Alright. Be it here known to all good citizens, all Great West Marking and surrounding streets are henceforth under the protection of the Sheriff Gorman Truett and his men. The City Watch patrols the streets at night and miscreants shall face the sword of justice. A further procl proclamation is here made. The practicing of pag pagan magic rites that blasphemously seek to raise the dead is now against the law and will be met with righteous justice should it still take place. The cult that used to run this part of town was outlawed and its members wanted men. The watch will pay a sizable reward, information leading to arrests that rid the streets of these black vagabonds. Now against the law, was it previously allowed? It's like, yeah, you can raise the dead if you want, that's cool. I really like this ambience. Nice. Okay, do we have a map? We do. Alright, which way are we facing? We are facing southwest. Yeah, we're up here. Oh, good. It's got auto map capability too. Enter to by the north gates. Alright. I guess the red is the main, main streets. Scanning Center. Tybalt Antiques is very near. That's good. I guess that's a clock tower. Right, we're gonna try and do the optional objectives, of course, but for the moment we're gonna start with Tybalt's. Here we are in Copper Lane. Fish left out. Pot left out. Actually, speaking of ambience, let me just check uh, the audio levels. Let's put it back to... To a more normal setting. Although I might be, I might get a little tired of that, uh, that thing in a minute. The way the music goes. I don't know, we'll see. It's very dark. Um, compared to what I'm used to. Where are we going? I thought we were here already. Table's Antiques is on the south side. Not here? This is a Marcus Square. Oh, that's the clock tower there, right? To the west. This place should be right here. Ah, so it is. There is a sign, I just couldn't see it. Titles, Antiques, and Curiosities. Let me just double check that the gamma is correct, because last mission... Yeah, that's good. Last mission it was so wrong. Hey, Ty... Well, are you Ty Bold or you is... Ah, that's Garrett. Right. There you are. You have news? Yes. So, I hired a pair of sneaks to investigate the theater. Craster and, uh, Fagan. Those two. They work for Maruzio. I wouldn't trust them as far as I can throw them. <laughs> Don't worry. I didn't tell them what it was about. Anyway, they found out that the owner is obsessed with a sealed door in an old cave below the theater. Apparently the ward sealing the door has a symbol on it. One that sounds very familiar. The same symbol is on the stone. I suspect the stone itself is the key to opening the door. I'll let you have it in exchange for half the cut of whatever you find down there. You want half for sitting around while I risk my neck. I'll give you 10%. This information wasn't easy to come by. 35%. Huh? 25. Or you can find someone else to do your dirty work. All right, fine. Follow me. The key's in my secret stash.
There's a lot of other junk here too. I'll follow you in a minute. I'm just admiring what you've got around your your shop here. I'm just admiring. No no intent of stealing at all. <laughs> Wait, did he just go out the outside? Am I supposed to be following him? Expenses G LM six forty gold. Assistant wages seven twenty gold. Purchase of miscellaneous antiques includes repairs eight seventy seven. Auction expenditure two forty gold. Craster and Raven hire ninety gold. Lord Borrowgrave oak furniture nine hundred gold plus ten delivery. Lady Mycroft wardrobe mahogany two seventy gold no delivery. Circling and four candles twenty gold. Uh, he just went out his front door, I think. I think I'm supposed to be following him. Or did he go upstairs? I, maybe I heard the door upstairs. It's haunting me with a chest that can't be opened. Keys, hammers... Nice telescope. Sword hilt. I assume he came this way. That's a big crate. That's a suspicious bookcase. Okay. This key? Wait, that's your shop key. Tybald, you didn't really think you'd be able to keep back the truth from us. You're not the only expert in this town. We knew about the stone, you sneaking rat, and didn't have to think too hard to see your plan to break into the theatre and use the stone to open up the door. There's bound to be some treasure hoard within, and you paid us a measly 90 gold. Be thankful that we're taking just the stone and not your worthless head along with it. Damn. Seems you were right about Craster and Fagin. Still, I happen to know they're camped out in the sewers hereabouts. You'll need to get the key back if we're to have any chance of beating them to the treasure. Yeah, good point. This better be worth all the trouble. Okay, that was an awkwardly long pause there. <laughs> okay. Um, Lady Camilla, the owner of the theatre, is obsessed with the sealed door. Break into her home, Shadewell Castle, and discover what she knows about it. Recover the keystone from Craster and Fagin's hideout in the sewers. Break into the theatre and use the stone to unseal the portal beneath. Okay. It says this book, suspicious bookcase, but this wasn't the suspicious one. I see, this is the suspicious one. And that's the door, that's, okay. What's this lever? Nothing. <clears throat> Alright, what do you got upstairs, sir? Probably just your bedroom, right? Nothing to steal. Terrace up here. Okay. There's some, some guards wandering the streets. Why am I up here? Where am I going? Where do I want to go first? I've got to get. Well, the castle is priority. The sewers... We're not going to get to the sewers from up here, are we? Seems unlikely. Can I not climb that? Apparently not. Okay. We have... Uh... Awkward chains across the uh, city. High five. A 
Long way down. Oh, there's a door on that side too. Clock man is asleep. In time, I've come to love to sleep up here amidst the whirling, ticking cogs and gears, but now that I can tune the noises out, the slightest discord cuts me like a knife and leaves me wide awake with twitching eyes and aching joints and bones until I rise and turn my ears to listen for the sound of mechanisms crying out in pain. Sometimes I find the discord good and fast, and other times it takes me half the night, but strive I must to isolate the fault and oil it or apply a little tap. Recovering the harmony I crave is better than the touch of woman's hand. Almost poetic. Also warning me to be awake very easily, I suppose. <sighs> mm. Alright. We don't have... Getting down there safely, do we? I mean, I could rip out of it, I suppose, but I would. Guess I should try it. Then we should come back up again. Let's see it, guys. I don't want that. No, 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 no. Oh, right. It's not an actual. It's not all tower. We've got here for notices. Carmilla Theatre presents Legacy of Nos, a new play opening August 2nd. Uh, I hate I hate people using readable not stop readable objects for things that aren't interactable. Which means I have to keep constantly guessing when they are they're supposed to be readable. Nobody. Okay. I guess that's the castle. Head in the distance there with the two round towers. Since we're kind of going that direction, let's see where this takes us. Oh, hello. Hmm, actually I could climb up that further maybe? No, okay, that doesn't open. noises from outside. Hmm. An odd little shrine. Going the wrong way for the castle now, but uh, we don't have too many opportunities to go different directions, I guess. goes down to water. Oh, and it goes up somewhere as well. 
Oh. That's not suspicious at all. Hello. Careful. Alright. Donnie. Nobody knows exactly what Maurizio looks like or where he lives, and that's the way he likes it, I'm sure. But while the wardens and their underlings are being quickly dealt with by the watch, Maurizio keeps silent and just waits, and makes his presence felt in subtler ways. You mark my words, he'll still be in control when this new sheriff's just a footnote in some dusty city record of the time. So keep that thought in mind before you try to cross him with this foolish plan of yours. Remember what became of Willie T, and rein your wild ambitions in a bit. I'm only looking out for you, my friend. Let's meet and have a drink instead. Ravel. Hello? Relaxing sounds to pull asleep to. One. Rain and wind. Two whale song. I'm impressed. I'm impressed that they knew how to spell whale song but accurately. It's not common knowledge. I mean, not the words whale song, obviously, the, the actual whale sounds. Hello? We have... Okay, I can't get up there. We have a gas arrow. That's it, just a gas arrow hiding out here. That'll, that'll be coming handy. Alright, well, we do need to find the sewers, so... Lots of water, seems like... And pipes. You know, this might be when we need to go, after all. I should have jumped off the rope instead of falling off it. Let's get some get up bearings. That's south, east, west. Let's head east for the moment. I think this is going to lead to out there hideout. Anything underneath there? No. Oh, we're not getting that door open. Crypts? Don't mind if I do. Hello? Slightly further away from the door for uh, safety's sake. Is this the Hammerite place? Might be. I didn't think we'd come this far. Oh, I was going to say I didn't think we'd come from this far north, but I went round the clock tower, didn't I? Yeah. Hmm. Odd. Why are they boarded this up? Or why are they boarding this up and only half done it? The lower crypts. Why would you want to board up the lower crypts?
This isn't some kind of shrine. Oh, I thought it would connect to through there, but it doesn't. Oh, I was gonna say this is this is a crypt turned into a wine cellar. Right, that makes a little more sense. They will walled off, boarded up with more crypty bits. It's probably not the hammerites then. Nope, not the hammerites. Some kind of pine drinking establishment uh, under here, maybe. Definitely not the hammerites. Now I don't know if we've got, uh, you know, the kind of normal immunity here or not. I mean, these people would not be happy for us to be, yeah, bounced up only be on this point. Are these people happy with us being around? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Didn't finish your cheese. Right now, lads. Don't waste it. Good, good armor. Okay, sore. I have my own room. Anybody left any valuables in their rented rooms? A loot. I don't need a loot. I'm looking for loot, not loot. Mm -hmm. I got good carpet in here. It's, uh, it's a high class kind of place, I guess. For those boxes I can't move. This I can move. Or rather, my fence can move it. Okay. I knew this deal would have to have a catch. The price was just too good to be believed. At first it seemed as if I got a steal with just a little maintenance to do. But this old fort must have some history. There are weird carvings everywhere and bricked up rooms that whisper from the past. Each day I feel a sense of great unease, a presence looking in these ancient stones. And while my patrons drink oblivious to all the oddities about the place, I sit and brood, unable to find rest within these walls. For when I sleep and dream, my soul, it seems to travel far below to dark and haunted caverns in the earth. So vivid are my dreams that I awake in terror, drenched in sweat and gibbering. Perhaps it is my mind that conjures up such images, and not, as I suspect, some darker force at work beneath my feet, some evil magic soaked into the stones. Perhaps I'm going mad from overwork. Perhaps I need to go on holiday, and maybe if I do, I shan't return and end my days upon some foreign shore. As if I had the gold to travel far. No, I must stay and make the best of it, but I'll not sleep another wink until I've had a priest come sanctify the place. Uh, <laughs> see the uh, bottom of the green man there. Okay, we can get out there. Hello. Yeah, you're not creepy at all, Mr. Statue. I wonder if any of these other rooms and chambers are accessible or not. Right, let's get out the window and have a look, let's try and get our bearings for where this place is. <sighs> All right, that's just the, that's just the outside of the of the tavern. It's fine. Sleeping off with a bucket on his head. Why is there a, stone, a sword in the stone here? 
Oh, I can't pull it out. Oh, there's a guard right there. I see, that's where I was crossing the street. So this is a little haughty place. I still don't know where. Oh, here, in. And it's, we've got the auto map to tell me. Right. I do greatly appreciate the auto map on that. Oh, especially on a complicated city layout. It helps a ton. If I pay attention to it, of course. Well, we could go further south. There's uh, clearly a ventilation duct there that could be reached, but... Um... Hmm. South is not where I'm trying to go right now, I don't think. South of here takes us to... Well, it does take us to Sir Kennington's, and that's the end. We do have to... Well, we do want to rob him. Why don't we go try to do that, since, since we're here? We've left the sewers again, and I'll have to find my way back into the sewers. Can I make the jump to that ledge? I don't feel like I can, so I'm going to... Try a rope here. What was that? So I'm gonna try a rope here, he says. Right. Stop fooling around. And utterly Where fail. I'm robbing the gardens behind you, mate. Does the rope even go very far? No, it stops above the okay. roof there. Calm down. There's nothing there. Dang. I guess that's Sir Kennington's place. Are we on Eel Brick Way? Right, we have the street names. <laughs> That's a good map. Yeah, question mark. Yeah, Garrett, who are you buying your maps from? You really ought to uh, find another supplier, I think. Hello, sir. Have you heard the good news about losing your purse? Stand on this roof, okay. Nothing there. Weird. No more quiet now. I'm sure it was nothing. I want to get back up there. If I need to get my rope, I mean, we can go back through the inn again, I guess. Maybe that's the easy way. I'd stop there. I can get back to the sewers again easily enough, I suppose. Well, while we're in the neighbourhood, let's just there. let's just see what's in these hidden among these wet crates. I thought he was still searching. Wait for him to turn away from the tavern then. You see that oh, there? Hello? <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? I see. Don't bounce off the rope, Garrett. I'm gonna reload for that. Grab the rope, please. 
What's that I see? <sighs> Thank you. Nothing there. Ears there. Oh. You guys patrolling this place. This would be. Oh, well, this is Sir Kennington's already. I guess that makes sense to be. Some guards about. Hello. Patrolling the balcony there. <coughs> okay, he did not come. He went in that door and did not come out of it, so he must be going around a different loop. Okay, that's good news for us. <coughs> and there's the open window we could have come in by. It's a valuable horn, it's not valuable at all. Sir Kennington, regretfully I must inform you that my father has declined your offer. Though financially quite fair, was not enough to change his lordship's mind. For him the lands hold sentimental charm aside from any income they provide. He likes to walk the pristine forest paths, and when he heard about our plans to build a hotel for the gentry on the land, he flew into a rage and stormed about and dropped the notion he had entertained of selling any acre of the place. I'm at a loss for how to handle him, and fear we'll have to shelve our plans for now. I'll keep you in the loop, old boy. Pierre. Yeah, nobody wants to buy horns these days. It's all about the flutes. Where are these guards patrolling? Oh, not here. See, I'll take an apple, but I didn't want to take a plate. Peerage in Review by Hartley Cooked. Odd noise. That's where the guards are patrolling. Mmm, <sighs> tasty. Tend to uh, oh. <laughs> be gone, <laughs> loud guards. There's an intruder here. <clears throat> that was not an intentional. Uh, I really didn't realize he's gonna turn around and see me. I could throw him in the bath. It seems like a poor. Well, you know. Well, it's gonna count against me, isn't it, if I do? You say that, you know, you could just drown in the bath. <clears throat> oh! How dare you! I'll call the guards! to drown completely. I want him to stop on the stairs. No. Yeah, pick him up, Garrett. Hey, watch it, Oaf. Garrett, why won't you pick him up? Garrett, why are you stuck? I couldn't even walk up the stairs. All right, let's try that again. I couldn't even walk up the stairs. I was stuck. Uh, 
and just stay there. To that hole, does he? Yeah, he does. Interesting way to go, but not right now. Hmm. Bad wine. Good coin. And it's about to die. Now. Hello. Is there anything else here? This painting, these weird tiles. Bedrooms often hide secrets. We're looking for this guy's prized ruby scepter. I don't know whether he would keep that hidden away. What's he got written here? My dearest Kennington, I have good news. Old Archie's out the picture. He's declined the invitation since you sent your note. I bribed Lord Merigold's new housekeeper to mix a little powder in his tea some hours before the ball is due to start. So now the only competition left is that young, baby-faced Lord Biffringham. A wager, then. Whoever rents us of the party of the foolish liar before the Lady Emily seduces him will have first go upon the saucy mare. What say you, sir? Is it a bet? Ricard. Seeing any obvious secret switches, but of course, if they were obvious, they wouldn't be secret. <laughs> I'm going to assume for the moment there's nothing here, and we can come back if we uh, find some kind of evidence to the contrary. Been in here? Oh, yes. Ah, that's why I could get the horn. Um. Oop. Let's not go that way. You know what? Let's hang out in here for a minute. It's uh, dark and there's a mask I neglected. Significant. He's got a whole lower floor. I should check that out, shouldn't I? Can I? I have a that nice decorative uh, kitchen. I can, thank you. Anything in the pond, in the pool? One never knows. You know, it's insta dry clothes, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't hurt to check it out. I'll leave the rope there because I'll probably go up it after it. Just don't know what, where I'm going. If or where I'm going to encounter guards down here. I say all banners must die, but you know, there's guards actively patrolling. It can be a dangerous endeavor. It again, tends to get them wound up when they see vandalism. Ah, 
after all, I'm a thief, not a vandal, right? What is that? Off the doorway there. Oh, it's just a lamp. Okay. Hmm, hams. Errol, I thought I made my feelings clear about these vegetables you keep serving. I'm not a horse, and therefore I have no need of greenery upon my dinner plate. From now on, you will serve up no more greens or any other colour vegetable. For someone of my noble culture tastes, my food should be a respectable shade of brown or beige, with some red fruit allowed. If you cannot supply such decent food, I'll find someone who can. Lord Kennington. Some of this damn veggies. My noble palate. I think that guard might be coming out in a second. Well, I don't. I honestly don't know. But, uh, I was not rushing there. I don't really see anywhere to hide. If, yeah. I don't see anywhere else to hide if he does decide to come. We shall gently follow him. Tap dancing. I'll find you. Just you wait. <laughs> uh, I'm amused by that. I'm amused by that. It wasn't actually his time to just stand there and pause, but uh, he hit the trigger. We could sit in the darkness here. Okay, so he's standing over there. We probably should sit in the darkness here and wait for him. You know what? Come out and face me, villain. Is he... is that him? Still in angry search mode. He might see me here if so. Which could be a problem. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Yeah, he's still in weird, weird mode. Whoops. <laughs> Let's just make sure he's not going to trouble us. I don't trust it when the AI is misbehaving like that. Very odd. I haven't actually seen that kind of misbehavior, misbehavior before. Uh, I think he just took a break here on the couch, right? Under the couch, that's fine. So I do wonder what kind of scripting is going on for his patrol route there that's, that's interfering with the normal AI behaviors. We can take a guess, but it's not very much point. Is there someone the there? Door. That's the front door. I'm walking around upstairs. <coughs> nice nice uh, bookend. Seems valuable. Yeah, all this bloody uh, tile everywhere. All right, just as we go. All this tile everywhere, including on the. Corners of the stairs. No, I don't think it's true at all what they said. It never was true. You know, I just believed them like a taffet. <laughs> They're probably laughing at me now, behind my back. Yeah, not true at all. Nope. Hmm. 
I'm suspicious about this banner. Standing there, I'm not because I'm going to fall straight into this tile and go clunk. Uh, hmm. Tell you what, I'll do is I'll burn another rope and I can maybe jump from one to the other. That's not wood. It looked like wood. It's not. Well, there's nothing behind that banner. Okay, we'll just leave that then. Found his priceless ruby scepter. How to open it? I don't like the looks of that. Coward, face me like a man. I've had enough of you. Heads are gonna roll now. Came back so quickly. Right. You know what? Let's make a statement, shall we? You were just saying you were gonna. Quit six years of guard duty, you're gonna write the Lord and tell him you're quitting. Well, good news, you don't have to write that letter anymore. Okay, is this where we came in? This is where we came in. Okay, so I have been right round once. I haven't been out, out along these uh, outer areas yet, so we'll just go around up here and have a look. But... <laughs> Not sure I've been down. Oh, that's, that's the front entrance, I see. There's an intruder here! Damn it. Not everyone's. Everyone wants to be here tonight. Don't they? Watch out. I saw something odd a time ago. No, you didn't, you just heard some yelling. How did he see me? This is supposed to be fully dark. I guess he'd been riled up already. Well, fuck it. If they know I'm here, they know I'm here. statement then. Uh. 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 Uh.
Yes, it came this way. Alright, this is no way I came in, but this is one of the early ones I was in. Hello, I've missed that before. Alright, well, some of the guards, maybe you can stay awake. I'm not... I didn't need to deal with all of them, right. Holes in your table, sir. Can't be good. Well, it would be very funny to have them all here, wouldn't it? It would be very, very funny. You know, I think, I think being funny has suddenly become imperative. Hello. Right, that's the way I came in, I see. Right, let's, let's do it. Let's find this other guy. Where's the stairs? And we can go down this rope again, I guess. <sighs> Maybe take it with us this time. So I don't forget it. Did I rub, rub, rub this room? I don't remember it. Maybe I did. Oh yeah, it came this way. So you are going to need to come upstairs. What was through here? Is the stairs. What was that? Yourself. I mean it. God. You can't hide for long. I didn't realize the front the guys outside the front door had got riled up and didn't think the noise would have got to them. Well, two more for the pile, I suppose. Giving up. Alright, we're almost to the hour mark. So we're going to end it shortly, but let's just finish the job here. Oh. And then we can just waltz out the front door afterwards, right? Okay, let's let's start let's get them all up, up to the The guard pile. Just bring them all in the room, and then then we can finish the job. It'll be the talk of the town. Lord Kennington's priceless jeweled scepter stolen. All his guards. Stacked up like sardines in a phone booth. Uh, a little anachronistic there. Uh, I don't think they. I don't think in this time period they actually um, distributed sardines in phone booths. It's, that's a more modern innovation. Right, was there anyone else out here? Let me just check if I've got. If there's any guards I've missed. Get that for luck. No, I think we're good. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought I saw some loot up there. Nope. Okay, goodbye. Right, I think you're the last one. Yeah, at this point in history, uh, sardines are still distributed. In, um... <sighs> uh, 
handmade small buckets. Alright, we have one more to add to the pile. I don't remember where it is. Well, not out here, clearly. Door that shouldn't have been left open. Did I leave this guy knock out down here? Must have taken this this guy, okay. Here we are. One more body to add to the pile for maximum embarrassment for Lord Killington here. Priceless ruby scepter stolen. Lord Kennington found naked atop a pile of sleeping guards locked in the scepter's display case. You will never hear the end of it. Hopefully, uh, well, I was going to say hopefully their amnesia will, uh, oops. Can I get him to stay on top of the pile? I kind of want him to stay on top of the pile if I can. There we go. Oops, I accidentally got in the way of the door there. Isn't that just beautiful? Alright, end the episode here. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me soon for the next one.